Hi, how are you doing? My name is Brian Stone. I'm the owner and chef of Alice's Last Stop Restaurant in Dighton, Mass. Today we're actually going to show you how to uh, make a chicken pot pie pretty much from scratch. We are going to use uh, a few processed items, but uh, it will make it a lot more, a lot simpler for you to learn how to make a pot pie this way. I've actually started, I already have our stock um, as well as butter that's been melted. This way we can make a roux to help thicken our stock to make it that nice creamy gravy that you love in all pot pies. So we have our butter in the pan. It's already been melted. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our flour. We're going to slowly add it and stir it at the same time. That way we keep it as smooth as possible. So we're making a nice roux here. We'll add it and stir. And you'll know when you're done, you'll be able to tell when it thickens up totally. We're going to turn the heat down just a little. We don't want it too hot. And we're going to add that into our stock slowly in just a second. And we'll bring our stock that has been simmering up here and we're going to work out of this pot. All the rest of what we do is going to be cooked right out of this pot. We have our pot of uh, stock. You can use either stock, uh, a base, bullion cubes, whatever you like. Um, but it is a, it's a nice chicken stock that it has been uh, that ha does have salt in it already. So we're going to slowly add this and stir it and whisk it in at the same time, and it'll thicken up real nice as we as we cook it off here. We'll scrape all the rest of the the roux into the pot, We're bringing it up to a boil. Because we are going to add more stuff to this, we do want to make sure that we get up to at least 165 degrees, um, kill any of the possible bacteria, make everything safe. Okay, that's starting to thicken up a little. What we're going to do is now we're going to add the vegetable, the chicken, and the potatoes. We're going to throw in our chicken. What we've done is we boiled the chicken ahead of time and diced it up. If you have chicken left over in the refrigerator, you want to use that. Just cut it up. If you've grilled it the night before or you've done anything else to it the night before, definitely add it. We've got our vegetables. The one the things that most people use is a pea and carrot blend. That's the the usual item, but again, if you want to add different items, you want to add broccoli, you want to add cauliflower, you want to add something else, you can definitely do that as well. And now we're going to add diced potatoes. We've actually already pre-cooked these. Uh, they're still pretty crunchy on the outside, but they have been mostly, mostly cooked off. That way, um, when we put it into the oven, we don't have to cook it for hours in order to get those potatoes soft. Now the only thing we're going to add now is a little bit of poultry seasoning and a little bit of black pepper. Again, if you enjoy these items, you want a little heavier, you want a little lighter, feel free to add either way. And just stir it in. Want to make sure these are incorporated because they are, especially the poultry seasoning, is a little on the strong side. Uh, you don't want to grab a bite of that um, or you definitely You'll, you'll remember that you took a bite of it. Okay, now we're going to actually get ready to plate it up and get it thrown in the oven. Just going to put a scoop and fill it up about three quarters full. You don't want to overfill it because when you do put it in the oven, it will boil a little bit. We use a pre-cut pie crust here. It's actually a puff pastry crust. We're just going to set it right on top. It's really simple and easy. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of an egg wash that we've pre-made up. All it is is one egg and about a tablespoon of water. And we're going to brush it right on top. Make sure you get the whole thing. That way you get a nice and brown shell on top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw it in the oven. 
about 350. You can put it in for over about 20 minutes. Or if the pot pie filling is hot like it is already, about 10 minutes in about a 400 degree oven, it'll crisp up the top real nice. And the insides, because they're already hot, will be nice and hot for you. So we're going to throw it in the oven, and then we'll be right back. Okay, we've taken the pot pie out of the oven. It got a nice crisp color to it on the outside, nice and flaky. Um, basically, you can dig in and eat it right now. The leftover filling that we did have, since we made such a big batch, you can put it in the refrigerator. Save it for tomorrow, save it for next week. You got about a week for it. Um, you can definitely freeze it as well. If you want to make them ahead of time, throw them in the freezer so the kids can have something to eat. When they come home from school, whatever they decide, quick dinner. Throw them in the microwave, a couple minutes, thaw them out, throw them in the oven, they'll crisp up really nice for you. Hope you enjoy your pot pie. I know we will.